Hi and welcome back to Tech Thursday. Today we're taking a close look at Filter 8. More specifically, feedback patching with Filter 8. So, in this case we're using Filter 8 as an oscillator with the resonance turned up into self-oscillation. And we're listening to two of the outputs as a stereo pair. And now we're just hearing a nice sine wave in octave intervals thanks to step 8 and route 4. Now we've got a feedback patch going on through mix 3 from the phase shifter output back into the exponential FM CV input. Let's turn up the modulation depth. And now suddenly we have something that sounds a lot like a saw wave just by doing feedback FM. You can try the different outputs and they will all yield different wave shapes and different timbres. But of course, keep in mind that the pitch will move as well as you change the modulation depth. So this is a fun way to get different timbres, different waveforms out of filter 8 in addition to sine waves. Now I've routed this through mix 3 so we can make it dynamic. We're gonna use a CV input, put an envelope on that. make it sound nice and rubbery by changing the modulation depth dynamically using an envelope. another great way to get some timbral variation if you just want to add a little bit of interest but you're still looking to use filter 8 as a sine wave oscillator mainly just by adding small amounts of dynamic modulation Of course, you can also go crazy and add additional feedback paths. Let's replace this feedback path with one from Fold 6. Try different outputs of filter 8 or fold 6. And 
and hunt for those unique feedback timbres. And this is one of the great strengths of, of analog synthesis. So I hope this video inspired you to try some feedback patching with filter aids or different modules in your system. And afterwards, please come back and uh, leave us a comment and let us know how it went. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.